Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollowtide here, and something that I had heard a long time ago seems to be coming true. More and more people are starting to talk about it. It looks like there's a lot of stuff coming out and a lot of finger pointing and things like that. But on Reddit, six hours ago, uh, this was posted, Halo Infinite Multiplayer was originally supposed to be an Overwatch clone. I don't know if clone is the right word, or even, I mean, hero shooters, everybody thinks of Overwatch, but um, I think it's more like ability shooters now, like destiny and stuff but they were forced to switch to the current multiplayer style in the last two years of dev after realizing it wasn't working and then jason schreier who you may know from old kotaku and i believe he works at forbes now says this was actually cut from my article late last year 343 spent a while prototyping a hero based system i don't remember exactly when they switched to the current version but i can confirm that they were working on various hero based prototypes in fact i think they were both pvp and pve prototypes and that kind of comes off the heels of uh, this tweet from Chris Raygun, who, if you don't know, is a pretty large YouTuber, and um, he's got roots in Halo and whatnot. And he just said uh, two days ago it would be crazy if it came out one day that a lot of the budget went to an Overwatch clone that they spent half the dev time making before realizing it wasn't working and were forced to make this version of Infinite in the last two years of development. That'd be nuts. That screams that he knows exactly what was happening. Um, and then uh, he gets a comment from... Roby, who used to work at 343, and uh, he said that didn't happen. He said, I worked and shipped the game. There is no leak. We prototyped a bunch of stuff as we worked on the game, which is never wasted time, but the way it's being spun is super inaccurate. It was a time allotted. It was in the time allotted for the game to go through those design cycles. So it's kind of like he's... It, it sounds like at first he's denying this part, that it was even an Overwatch hero shooter thing, and then he kind of you know, steps back on that, so, uh, I, from what I've heard, you know, it, it was a thing, um, and I think that they were going to try to appeal to that maybe Destiny audience, or I, maybe, I, I, the way they talk about it being like Overwatch, I just don't think that that is what it was. I've been told a lot of different things, um, and, honestly, the first thing that comes to my mind is not Overwatch. Um, I have played Overwatch, but uh, that's not what it sounded like they were making. And, um, you know, PvP and PvE elements definitely sounds like it was supposed to be more of a Destiny type of game. Which, I mean, the numbers don't lie. Destiny's pretty pretty successful right now. So, a lot of other uh, accounts and stuff are starting to pick it up. Halo Hub. I don't follow Halo Hub. They're pretty, pretty in the know. Um, so, it's... It's coming out. I think a lot of people are going to realize what was going on um, in those years of development time. I know, you know, the, between making the engine and prototyping the game. And um, I've also heard some rumors about the former director of uh, Halo Infinite. What he wanted was a Far Cry-esque type of game with the entire Halo ring available to just, you know, explore and stuff. And obviously... Um, I think a lot of dev time went into trying to make that possible. It's super ambitious, but I don't think it was possible at the time. Um, and then when they left, you know, there was a huge, you know, turnover thing. So just, just more rumors and stuff, you know, what it, it, it is, it is what it is being a Halo fan. So if you all enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. If you love Halo content, sub to me. I'm one of the last remaining Halo content creators out there. And 96% uh, of you aren't sub to the channel that watch my videos, so go ahead and change that. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.